Hi guys, just a short video showing an alternative to the supplied um, Yesu 1400 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery that comes supplied with the Yesu 817 transceiver. Okay, notice I said it's an alternative, it's not a set in stone replacement. There's uh, all sorts of batteries people use with these uh, transceivers, the 817. Sealed lead acid batteries, sometimes known as slabs. Uh, LiPo batteries that are used in model aircraft, model cars, obviously very light, decent capacity on them. Okay, so it's an alternative. Um, I've had this 817 transceiver, or one of my 817 transceivers, for about 10 years. Um, not had much of a problem with a 1400 milliamp hour battery until recently. A few years ago, my son and I, for some it's on the air, activated G stroke NP008 Great Wernside. And after that, we did G stroke NP0009 Buckden Pike. Both activations on 2 meter FM, and I still have battery life left when I return back to the car. Okay, keep your overs short, of course, it all depends on how long you like to talk for. Um, the internal battery gave up the ghost recently, it just refused to hold charge. Okay, so speaking to guys at the Otley Amateur Radio Society, where I'm a member, I will put onto this option. By uh, by Nigel. Okay, you can get um, a copy of the internal battery for the 817 that's 1500 milliamp hour on auction sites, reasonably cheap, but I'm not sure how good that is. Never used it. Um, this charger, and I got eight AA batteries that are 2900 milliamp hour. Okay, the charger and the batteries, the total cost, come to less than what a replacement genuine 817 battery would cost. Okay, so I'll put them to these. Nice little charger. It takes eight AA batteries. It will recharge the AAA batteries as well. Okay, so let's stick these on charge. As you can see at the bottom, they're blinking. Not much charge in these. Say 2900 milliamp hour. Take five hours to charge. And then this charger will switch over to just a trickle charge if you leave on any longer than that. Okay, so it takes about five hours. I'm going to just leave these on charge, then I'll uh, I'll come back to you. As you can see now, these uh, 2900 milliamp hour. These are nickel metal hydride batteries. Got to mention that in the first part of the video. As you can see now, all fully charged. Um, been out for a few hours, just left them on charge, fully charged. So you get a battery holder with the 817. I believe it's the FBA28, holds the eight double A's. So I'm going to put these in the bottom of the 817 now. Battery cover on. Turn the radio on. There we go, 10.9 volts. Alright, so that's with the, uh, the internal, the AAA batteries. <coughs> Excuse me. An option. Just an option, that's all. Not a, a set in stone alternative for the internal battery ok guys they'll last a while uh, not massive length of time but certainly better than the internal battery the price for the charger and the internal batteries that I've just put in 8 AAAs and the battery charger the complete cost of those combined is less than half the price of a new internal battery for the A17 ok less than half the price so, a good bargain, I think. An alternative, perhaps worth uh, thinking of. Thanks for watching, chaps. See you on the next one.